my take on the whole um, money. I think that's the problem. Money over everything. Whatever happened to a man have being able to critically think? A man who can have um, very have problem solving, common sense. You can't buy that with money, ladies. Uh, a man can have all the money in the world. You can he can never buy your respect. I mean, nobody wants somebody who's just destitute and lazy. But let's be real. Not all of us have easy lives, and I'm not excusing those who are just. Um, complete failures and irresponsible. I'm not talking about those, but to me, a person who's able to critically think, um, got logic and com- got logic and common sense, can you know understand the world around them, be very observant about the world and the world they live in, have integrity, be able to do for self. First of all, you can. You could have all the money in the world, but if he can't um, really do any basic fixing, what what good is he? What he's going to call the service man to do it for him? I mean, we got to stop with this. Money does help. Money has not helped the black community. I would argue that money has destroyed the black community, as along with gynocracy of feminism and miseducation, college integration, and the promotion of divesting and swirling in interracial relationships and this liberal agenda my thing is when it comes to whatever happened to somebody just having respect general respect to me somebody who respects you first then loves you respect is more important than love you understand what I'm saying respect is more important than love my thing is if when there's an economic collapse what money can do for you if money has no value we are the people who make value so a man is so valuable even if he has no money because my thing is ladies it's like you can have all the money in the world but can you problem solve can you work with people can you network can you communicate are you a great communicator can you stand can you support can you work together because whatever happened to teamwork Whatever happened to pride, you know, black pride about your people, self-love, self-respect more so. Whatever happened to having pride, but we have this money over everything. We have this chasing bags. Chasing bags ain't done nothing. How about we get pride? How about we stop with the materialism? Because I would argue that our great grand, our grandparents and great grandparents didn't have money. Then a lot of them were blue collar workers. Sharecroppers didn't have no money, but it's so funny because the, our grandmothers was more, was more respectful to those men who didn't have nothing, who didn't have much. Today's women, and not saying all, men make more money, and it's just I'm about myself and narcissism. I'm I just I just want oh I can't deal with a man who makes less. Let me ask you this. If there's a bump in the night, you say a man can't provide for himself. Okay, do you expect him to get up, get off his ass, and check what's going on and fix what needs to be fixed, or protect and defend um, the, the, the 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 living space where you lay your head at? Let's let's keep it real. So a man can make make less than you, but he's still more valuable than a m- w- woman who's a billionaire. Let's keep it real. I look in that mirror. Nice fall, yeah. I gotta be back in my head. I got a lot of hair, so I had to wear through this part because I ran out of color. Yeah, that's why I said that's the one you're Yeah. How old are you? What's your dress size? How would you rate yourself? Can you sir? Hey, well, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, hey, it's, I, I actually think, I think it's needed. Some, for some cases, it's needed.